beloved soul. It's uh, Maylene at Encoding Shamanic Peacemaker. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to do today a, um, what are they thinking and feeling about you right now, right this minute, if you were to dig into their heart and their thoughts <laughs> about you and this relationship, okay? Um, I'll just grab one of these and um, we have to have one of the energy oracles as well that one was the earth magic the first one yeah. i feel like today i'm not supposed to turn them around until um, they say so <laughs> so what is their feelings and thoughts and about you right now your person Okay, I'll shuffle some more. There we go. Perhaps there will be three more. We'll see. I only want one right now. And one more oracle. <laughs> what are they thinking and feeling about you right now? What's going on in their heart, in their thoughts and their feelings? So... Um, and one more, okay. Alrighty, <clears throat> let's just start with these four oracles and get to it. The first one is dawn, a new beginning. The next one is woman holding a coin. <laughs> and then we have commitment and we have home. Okay. Okay. So perhaps for some of you, you have just met this person or you have just met them again uh, or will meet them again. Uh, because definitely we have to take um, the new beginning uh, into account here <laughs> that's the most important card i think um perhaps it's a um, what you call it when you see each other again right now we're going through mercury retrograde so um this is very common that you sort of um uh, an old relationship comes back what they think of you right now is that you are pretty stable. You know who you are. You're focused on your job. You're focused on your work. And um, and I feel like uh, they this energy I'm sitting with is that you have a very, very loving um, bond between you. Um, a very trustworthy bond and respectful and uh, deep bond as well. This is what I'm getting here um, with the commitment energy here um, and the home energy. For some of you, you could have been looking for a house. They could be looking for a house. But I feel like also it's the energy that you make them feel like home. So it's, uh, it's more that, but practically for some of you, you could, you know, want to move in together or uh, be looking for a house or an, another place, a new place or something. All right. I'm looking around asking spirit what to do now. I want to do some tarot. Which ones? Okay, we're doing um, the light seers, they say. <laughs> All right, so this energy I'm sitting in, this person really loves you or will love you, you know, if you haven't met them yet, if this is a new love. Um, uh, so we get uh, three of swords to begin with. And then we get Queen of Cups and we get Seven of Cups and Five of Swords. Yes, so we are, 
we are having a little um, story <laughs> about what happened in the past. They're telling us a story about what happened in the past. We have the devil energy and then we have eight of cups. And then we have four of pentacles and the emperor. Um, and yeah, we'll take the rest in a little while. I just for me, this one they're telling us why they left you, or why this happened, or what happened before they came into this relationship. There has been something that hurt them, and they were scared. You came in as this beautiful queen of love, and they were just really, really. Um, <sighs> I feel like attracted to you, but so, so scared because of whatever have happened to them in the past. So instead of going to their heart and feeling what they felt about you, they went to their mind in their head, right? And trying to figure everything out, um, trying to be rational, trying to see where you fit into their life and blah blah it was a lot of planning a lot of strategic thoughts they had and they forgot i'm getting to actually feel what was going on in their heart for you and these thoughts were they were it were killing them they just couldn't deal with it anymore and they felt like they knew that you didn't deserve this. They thought of themselves as a devil. Perhaps for some of you, this could be a Capricorn, but they, I'm getting, we, we are, we're ha get, getting their thoughts right now. They're telling us a story. So, um, but if you haven't met this person yet, they will tell you this story that this happened, you know, perhaps they were with the devil, perhaps they were uh, really, but, they really was hurt and, and and then for those of you who know this person they hurt you they did and they walked away i feel like they tried to sort of protect you as well by walking away because they were just not vibrationally ready to meet someone like you and in a weird way Staying in their mind and their thoughts, they protected their own heart with the four pentacles. But now they come in as this emperor. or They're also telling us that, you know, the negative side of the emperor, which is when, you know, <clears throat> you get too firm and too up in your head and um, no one can come in to my fortress. I have to protect everything in myself and I need to know everything that happens within me <laughs> um, no one can come in um, yeah we have a lot of cards here but I, I want to shuffle again because I want to know what's actually going on right now what happened since this so since you're asking, perhaps you just saw them or you just met them or when you meet them. What will this catalyze? What will happen? I want to know. All right. So you come in as the Queen of Pentacles here. And we have um, Temperance. And we have Justice. We have um, Five of Wands. And then we have Four of Wands. Queen of Wands, Six of Cups. Um, all right, so, well, they are sort of taking it back. You know, they're like, mm, ah, you're still, you're still gorgeous, you're still beautiful, you're still everything you used to be, for those of you who know this person. <laughs> or, yeah, you're not the same as what I tried before. I... I just feel like I can trust you. I feel like you're so balanced and you're peaceful and uh, 
I really want to make things straight and fair in this relationship. I'm, I don't want to um, do anything uh, to hurt you. I feel like with this five of wands, there could have been, for those of you who knows this person or will come, some people that will interfere with this relationship because they're jealous. That's what I'm getting. All right. Um, but what they want now, they want to create a foundation with you. They, for, for some of you, they, they actually are thinking about, well, living with you and moving in together. Um, they just really love how you are so loving and caring. You're so such a provider, beautiful, uh, someone you can trust, a beautiful mother for some of you. And also you're so charming and funny and you have all these things that they love about you. The Six of Cups is like a reunion that for those of you who know this person that they will, there will be a reunion here. And when I open up the deck, we get Judgment card and King of Cups. Um, yeah, I don't know if I should put, I will put it here because then we have the Empress. <laughs> I want to put the Empress next to the Emperor. And then, and then here we have the King of Cups. <laughs> so now we have the Queen and the King of Cups, right? Um, And the Ten of Cups and the Chariot. I'm just picking these cards off the deck. They were just laying there. And I think that was it. I think that was it. No, we have four more, five more cards, I think. <laughs> All right. Uh, so um, they have changed. Now they sort of have, they, they have become clear uh, for some of you, they, they couldn't trust you. Uh, and that was nothing about you. That was not your fault. It was just their own mind in their own story, their upbringing, their um, whatever happened to them. Um, and, uh, and now they understand that, you know, it wasn't you that they couldn't trust. It was all the other people, the jealous ones, or the ones that thought they had a say in this relationship and their feelings for you and they now understand that you have not been nothing but loving and caring and patient with them and now they understand that you were actually brought to them from above I'm getting here and they see that you know they can be so happy with you and or am so happy together with you you can they can actually have all the things they ever dreamed of, right? Uh, for some for some reason, what I'm getting is they thought that, you know, the stairways to heaven or the door to heaven was shut down. Um, and they, they have been, well, figure, trying to figure out uh, why it felt like it wasn't, um, agreeable with God for some of them that you were with together with them or or at least they were like is this true love I've never tried this before it's like I don't know what love is energy so either or um, so they have been with this page of cups uh, well thinking I don't know well <laughs> Is this ever going to happen? Will I ever get there? It, they take the responsibility on to themselves and ask, will I ever get there? But with a judgment card, something new is happening inside of them or has happened. They're ready now to be mature enough to be with someone like you. And um, you come in as this high priestess. So that's the attraction. This high priestess is, oh my God, it's just such an attraction. <laughs> um, because your life, your pure life is the ones. You, you are connected to, well, with the middle of the earth and all the way up to the, to the middle of the universe, right? And where the source of God is and creation is. And you 
well speak or can actually travel uh, from one point to the other um, seeing right through this person completely um, and they, they they know that now it's up to them you know they have to get on that wagon and, and do something right they can't just be sitting here as a page of cups and sometimes with a few days um, um uh, waiting time as answer your sms's or whatever um they know that the truth is coming out with the moon energy here um and yeah there's just no more use for keeping secrets or holding themselves back anymore they are just ready to, I feel like, um, come clean. And what they want to say, what they want to say is two of cups and the sun. Okay. Two of cups and the sun. If they're taking their time, two of wands and the queen of swords is because they are afraid of what you will say. All right. So that's just a, a little extra thing. Uh, we have a royal pair right here, the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups, and they're ready to actually share their feelings with you and emotions. But uh, since for some of you it's taken some time, it's actually because they are afraid. <laughs> they are afraid of what you will say. Um, so I'm, I'm just getting be nice to them. Um, uh, yeah, be nice to them and tell them, you know what? I, I, I am not, and I never was a burden to your, to you or your life. I'm a blessing. I'm a blessing. So, and then I flip over the deck. We have Ace of Cups. And giving and receiving equally with each other. And um, uh, I just really feel that um, now they're going to come in <laughs> uh, as this Knight of Cups and share what has been going on all this time, perhaps with no communication or whatever, you know. So... Um, yeah... It's okay if you're like, hmm, I'm not sure if I'm ready for someone that comes in and tells me Bleh, all the things that he's so afraid of or was so afraid of. and Or I'm not sure what I think about a person that really hasn't treated me very good or ghosted me for a hundred years or whatever. So it's okay, you know, it's okay. Just be careful uh, not to get too much up in your head like they did this was a, a fault that they did to begin with right and when if they come back in here when don't be, be don't be the same you know with the queen of swords energy don't go up to your head and like mm, i don't know i have to think about everything and what happened and then this happened then you said that and then mm, i have to you know uh, um, it's time to open your heart and to feel what it is that your heart's telling you um, or else I feel like everything is going to happen the same. They, they are pretty prone to be scared very fast. I get this person, you know, so, um, so tell them, you know what? I always did have feelings for you. I really, really want this to work. Can we, uh, cooperate by communicating very well with each other can we uh, um, try and well meet each other's needs um, through communication tell each other what do I need what do you, what do you need and and uh, and and try to give each other you know whatever it is um, as a, a, a gift of love to one another to start this relationship up because you have also had some things going on in your life right 
So um, I really have an, a, such a beautiful feeling of so much respect for one another and so much care, so much compassion. And it's kind of an, a love that has no um, boundaries or what you call it. <laughs> I don't know why it's uh, such a, a normal uh, saying. Uh, it's just gone right now. Unconditional. There we go. <laughs> Unconditional love. It's a kind of love where you... Are, can allow each other to set each other free um, because you know each other so well on a soul level and you know what you know what you have together on a soul level this is a soul love okay so um, just keep the communication um, flowing and the, say to each other what you feel. Don't leave anything out, okay? But never discuss, never argue. That's what I'm getting, okay? Because this is such a beautiful and loving relationship. So much love, so much growth. I feel like this is a relationship where both of you have been growing up until now, either together or ghosting each other or just apart, but you have been growing up until now, right? So what is coming here, it's really, really good. It's supported by the angels, by God. I just am getting this. Yeah. All right, <laughs> I just want to stay in this beautiful energy. It's so nice. Um, I'm hearing, don't worry, don't worry. Allow this to be a free energy between you. Allow it to freely move like the river is moving and flow like sin, like... <laughs> You know, yeah, feel the flow more than you feel your thoughts or think your thoughts. Just say to yourself, well, you know what, mm, when they say I can't today, then actually it feels right as well for me, you know. So sometimes, you know, things actually make sense, <laughs> even though uh, perhaps you wanted to see them or whatever then yeah well but when i think about it actually i also need a break today so that's fine you know if you need to go to work or you need to do stuff this energy stay in the flow okay so um beautiful <laughs> pop up today you guys thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to keep the flow of the, uh, the channel uh, going so, so that you can have um, readings that actually align with you or resonate with you also right so um, yeah or send me an email if you need a personal one um, thank you so much I wish you all the best and take care.